Welcome to Universal Feeds, where the world meets the universe. Breaking news, global power shifts, mysteries beyond the stars. Stay informed, stay ahead, stay curious. Subscribe now and explore the truth with us. In the cold expanse of space, where silence reigns and time stretches beyond imagination, the James Webb Space Telescope peers deep into the past, acting as a time machine built of mirrors and light, designed to unlock secrets hidden since the universe's earliest moments. Every image it captures is a glimpse of galaxies as they were billions of years ago, their light just now reaching us after an unimaginable journey. Recently, Webb intercepted a signal so profound it's reshaping our understanding of the universe's beginnings, hinting at events that occurred when time itself was young. This isn't a message from aliens but a faint signature from the cosmic dawn when the first lights flickered on and the universe began to transform. Imagine the universe after the Big Bang, dark, dense and filled with neutral hydrogen gas. No stars, no free traveling light, just a vast cosmic ocean waiting for illumination. The signal Webb detected is like the first ray of sunshine breaking through a thick fog, marking the end of the cosmic dark ages and the birth of the first stars. This ancient light traveled billions of years, stretched by the expanding universe to reach us now, its journey a testament to the vastness of space and the persistence of cosmic history. Capturing it is a monumental achievement, offering a key piece of evidence in the story of our cosmic origins, and a triumph for human curiosity and ingenuity. The discovery invites us to journey back to the universe's nursery, where the first structures began to form, and the seeds of galaxies like our own were sown. The signal is our guide, challenging old ideas and sparking new questions about how the universe evolved and what mysteries still await us. What was powerful enough to burn away the cosmic fog? The answers are just beginning to emerge, promising to reshape our understanding of the cosmos for generations to come. The source of this extraordinary message is GSZ-13-1, a small primitive galaxy located at the very edge of what our telescopes can see. We observe it as it appeared just 330 million years after the Big Bang, when the universe was still shrouded in darkness and mystery. It's one of the earliest galaxies ever observed, a compact blazing relic from the universe's first days, burning with the light of countless young stars. Webb detected a powerful ultraviolet signature from GSZ-13-1, providing direct proof that reionization, the process that cleared the cosmic fog, was underway much earlier than scientists had previously believed. Even more astonishing, GSZ-13-1 sits inside a gigantic bubble of transparent plasma, stretching an incredible 650,000 light-years around it, far larger than our own Milky Way. Like a cosmic lighthouse in the fog, its energetic stars carved a massive clearing, allowing their light to escape and travel freely across the young universe. This enormous bubble is compelling evidence that this tiny galaxy played a major role in transforming the universe from opaque to transparent. The discovery, published in Nature, forces us to reconsider how quickly the first galaxies grew, evolved, and impacted their cosmic surroundings. Previous models suggested a slow, gradual process, but GSZ-13-1 tells a different, more dramatic story of rapid change and intense activity. Even in the universe's infancy, small but mighty galaxies like GSZ-13-1 were already lighting up the cosmos, shaping the environment around them. These early galaxies made the universe transparent and star-filled far sooner than we ever imagined, forever changing our understanding of cosmic history. The signal from GSZ-13-1 is shaking up our cosmic timeline. For years astronomers thought reionization began 500 million to 1 billion years after the Big Bang, a slow, gradual process. But the massive bubble around GSZ-13-1, just 330 million years post-Big Bang, changes everything. It means the universe's lights didn't just flicker on, they exploded into brilliance in some regions. Reionization was patchy and dynamic with early galaxies like GSZ-13-1 leading the charge. Our cosmic calendar must be revised star and galaxy formation was far more efficient and rapid than we thought. The universe's dawn was dramatic, not gentle. Scientists now face new questions. Were the first stars more massive? Did black holes accelerate galaxy growth? With every photon Webb collects we're rewriting the history of the cosmos. What could create such a massive bubble in the early universe? 
What force was powerful enough to carve out these vast, empty regions in the cosmic landscape just a few hundred million years after the Big Bang? The answer may be Population 3 stars, the universe's first, most extreme stars. These were unlike anything we see today, blazing with unimaginable energy and shaping the cosmos in their wake. Born from pure hydrogen and helium, these giants could reach up to 300 times the mass of our sun. With no heavier elements to cool them, they grew to truly colossal sizes, dwarfing even the largest stars we know now. Their immense size made them burn hot and bright, flooding space with ultraviolet radiation. This radiation was so intense, it fundamentally changed the environment around them. This intense UV light was perfect for clearing away the hydrogen fog, making the universe transparent and allowing light to travel freely for the first time. The signal from GSZ-13-1 suggests it was teeming with these cosmic giants, each one a beacon in the darkness, lighting up the young universe. Population 3 stars lived fast and died young, exploding as supernovae after just a few million years, a blink of an eye in cosmic terms. Their deaths scattered the first heavy elements, seeding the cosmos for future generations of stars and planets. Without them, the universe would remain a simple place, lacking the ingredients for life. We are quite literally made from their ashes. Every atom of carbon, oxygen and iron in our bodies was forged in the hearts of these ancient stars. Finding direct proof of population 3 stars has been a holy grail for astronomers, a quest that has spanned decades and driven the development of powerful new telescopes. None exist today, but their signature may be found in the light from distant galaxies, faint echoes of a time when the universe was young. The UV signal from GSZ-13-1 is the strongest evidence yet that these giants existed, offering a tantalizing glimpse into our cosmic origins. They ended the Dark Ages and set the stage for everything that followed, paving the way for galaxies, planets and eventually, life itself. Webb's images are stunning, but to probe the absolute earliest moments, scientists turned to radio astronomy. They listened for the faint 21-centimeter signal, a radio whisper from hydrogen atoms in the early universe. When the first stars ignited, their light changed this signal revealing when and how the cosmic dawn began. By studying these subtle variations, scientists can learn about the first stars indirectly, like feeling warmth from a distant fire. The 21-centimeter signal tells us when the first stars formed, how massive they were, and how they were distributed. New research now includes the effects of X-ray binaries refining our understanding of this era. By listening to this cosmic whisper, we can weigh entire populations of the universe's first stars, even if we can't see them directly. It's a powerful new way to explore the universe's hidden beginnings. Detecting the 21-centimeter signal is a huge challenge. It's incredibly faint and buried under radio noise from Earth and the galaxy. To succeed, astronomers are building new, ultra-sensitive radio telescopes. The REACH experiment uses a remote antenna system to isolate the faint echo from the cosmic dawn. On a grander scale, the Square Kilometer Array SKA, will be the world's largest radio telescope, mapping hydrogen gas during reionization. SKA will reveal bubbles of transparency as they formed and grew, complementing Webb's sharp images. These observatories will give us a complete picture of how the Dark Ages ended. The future of cosmology is about both seeing and listening. Together these tools will unlock the story of how the cosmos became bright and structured. While some telescopes look back to the dawn of time, others search for life on distant worlds. Webb recently studied exoplanet K218b, 124 light-years away, in its star's habitable zone. Initial observations detected dimethyl sulfide DMS, in its atmosphere, a molecule on Earth produced only by life. The headlines were electric, had we found evidence of life beyond Earth, but science demands extraordinary evidence for extraordinary claims. Further analysis showed the DMS signal was extremely weak, possibly a statistical fluke or a misinterpretation. Other molecules like ethane could explain the signal. The evidence for life on K218b is far from conclusive. The scientific process is working. Thrilling possibilities are tested and scrutinized. The universe still holds its greatest secrets close, 